Blockbuster's tech is showing a lot of signs that a lot of people are on the verge of becoming millionaires. What are these signs? I'm going to be diving into that in this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up like button and also feel free to share this on social media. Use proper hashtags so that other people can find it. But I wanna make a very important note. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into this. First up is what is Blockbuster's tech? If you're not familiar with this already, what have you been living under a rock? No, I'm just kidding, guys. It actually hasn't launched just yet, but a lot of people are very excited. This has been trending multiple days over on Twitter. It's a huge amount of people in the community space. The pre-sale sold out. It not only hit its soft cap, it hit its hard cap. And with that, it's actually at $1,135,000 worth of BNB at this moment in time, which is absolutely incredible. We are going to be referencing that on some of our price charts in just a little bit. So if you're curious to see percentage gains at different levels and using a real world other token comparable factor to justify some of these things, don't go anywhere. So, okay, Blockbuster's tech reflects in other tokens that are also reflectionary to some degree, whether it be BUSD or several other forms of tokens, but you receive all of these different kinds of passive income, right? This has a 10 billion total supply. So you see a lot of other projects that are in the trillions or quadrillions, et cetera. This one has 10 billion. So when you look at it from a market cap standpoint, the idea of whether or not these tokens can hit, for example, $1 or even 10 cents or even a penny seems much more feasible when you're trying to factor in a market cap. And yes, some people may not want to use that as a reference point, other people do, but we're gonna use it as part of our references in here so that you can see in comparison to other projects. Because overall, in my personal opinion, I think that it still has a degree of influence on decision making that people have when they do their trades. So 10 billion total supply, right? There's a 16% buy and a 16% sell tax. So of those reflectionary models and distributions, et cetera, that's playing a role inside of this. And having such a high percentage is also going to have an impact on how people do their trades. For example, you're more than likely not going to see trading bots come in prolifically trying to make trades on this because they're getting hit so heavily when they buy in and it has to have a substantial enough increase to also cover that sell in order for it to be able to make a profit. So there's a big incentive here for people to be more on the long-term holding side. And so you see all of these different partners that are on here of these, a handful of them reward in BUSD. That means that even if the price was to say drop for Blockbuster's tech, you have a strong possibility that buyers of this token that are now receiving these reflectionary tokens are going to have stable coin on standby that they could use to inject back in to the system and buy more Blockbuster tech, which then has further of an impact because of the reflections, you get the point. So there is that potential, especially on a launch day with the amount of trading volume that we have, which is absolutely incredible. And the trading volume, that's another aspect I wanna to touch on with you guys. So check this out. These are some of the things other people in the community are saying. Chain says, as it stands right now, if Blockbuster's tech squeezes to 10 cents, it will create 46 millionaires. If it squeezes to 20 cents, it'll be 103 millionaires. The question is, can you hodl, not financial advice, but don't forget on your way out the door, you get that 16% tax. Just remember that so you can keep your million. Then we see some other points. Mr. Green says, I'm curious to know what happens with Blockbuster Tech when all available tokens have been bought. Has anyone experienced this situation? So you might be asking, why are they asking a question like that? Isn't that kind of an extreme thing to think that all of the tokens can be bought? Well, of the pre-sale that took place, a large percentage of that was already allocated in. In addition to that, you also have things related to various team activities of percentages being associated with that, of which can be found within the white paper, etc. So let's go ahead and focus on the next piece. Moonseeker says, in stock trading, it's called a locked float, when all available shares are held by longs. In that case, the Blockbuster Tech price can move in a parabolic manner, as in absolutely off the charts beyond rhyme and reason. 
ALPP is one such stock that has seen this event before and may now too. This is in reference to Alpine 4 Holdings. Moving on to the next bit. This individual on Twitter, I don't know how to say their name, so I uh, apologize about that. They said roughly 2,300, not assuming people with multiple wallets. Pre-sale holders devoured Blockbuster's token well before deadline. Many are locked and loaded to buy more. Less than 5,000 people will be able to acquire 1 million tokens. This is going to get very interesting. Hashtag Blockbusters Tech. Goes on, SafeMoon NL says, a lot less than 5,000 people. Not all tokens will be in circulation as can be seen on their website. Only the treasury, future hires, and team tokens are already 31%. That's already 3,100 people less to buy a million tokens. And then the individual from before said, I agree, however, the changes that have been made to the pie graph allocations aren't confirmed or announced yet, so I'm being conservative. Conservative, Nevertheless, I agree and think it's less. My guess is three to four billion will be available when Blockbuster's token goes live. Not financial advice and speculation, right? Moving on. Safemoon Tony says, four billion sold out in pre-sale. Six billion supply remaining. Launch day people gonna try to buy up another four billion Price will skyrocket August 5th launch day. So as of the time of me making this video, it is just days away. That pre-sale, they still had, I think it was four or five days left. And it had already reached its hard cap. So nobody else could actually be able to buy at that point in time. It didn't even go through the full pre-sale and it had multiple days. We're not talking one day left. It was multiple days. There is a lot of hype around this project. You don't believe me? Go over to Twitter. You can search for some of the hashtags. For example, hashtag Blockbusters Tech. You could also see BBTF. There is a lot of people talking about this. In fact, it's been trending for multiple days in a row. Rip Van Wizard, based on the pre-sale price, he had estimated that the launch price could be somewhere between 0 .00025 and 0 .00030. That fits right in line about the same price. So let's just say it does launch right around that same price. Okay, now we're going to start diving into things with the chart here. What I have in front of you guys is Live Crypto Party. This was a hyper launch partner on the SafeMoon Swap. What does that mean? It means that they only launched on SafeMoon Swap to be able to buy it. That was it. Blockbusters Tech is going to be the same thing. They were a hyper launch partner. On the launch day for Live Crypto Party, they had hit at the peak, 424% of an increase. You do see that it had a major pullback, but it had this massive climb. Don't forget with Blockbusters Tech, there's that 16% in and 16% out. That is going to have an, a very heavy influence on decision-making what people do going into this project, not including the fact that you have all of these reflections and the things I mentioned before. So just take that into account. In addition to that, you also have a significant amount of hype of interest leading into the launch of Blockbusters Tech that Live Crypto Party did not see this to the same degree. It, it's just a noticeable difference. Nothing against Live Crypto Party, it's just a noticeable difference. So when you factor that in, and on top of it, the amount that's already participated in with the pre-sale and the other elements, this is showing that 424% seems very reasonable. If anything, it's undervaluing what its potential is. So let's go ahead and cover some of the other key elements here, right? So if we did a 424% and we went to that price range, we're gonna go ahead and use 0 0.0003, and it was that increase, you'd be looking at the price point of Blockbusters Tech at 0 0.001362, approximately. So if you wanna bust out your calculators, you wanna have fun with this, feel free to do so. Just remember again, this is not financial advice. Now the next one we go up to is 647% of an increase or 0 0.002. That is based on the market cap for Live Crypto Party, what it's at right now. Technically you see it says 9.2 million earlier. When I was preparing this, it was at $8.5 million. So it's gone up a bit more. So this is in reference to $8.5 million worth of market cap. If we were to use the BNB value over here as a reference point, Let's just say if it does start at this, at $1,135,000, then we would see with that same market cap of $8.5 million be hit, it would be a 647% increase. Let's go ahead and take it up another notch here. Okay, up next, what if it went to a penny? If it went to a penny, that'd be 3,065% of an increase. If it went up to 
two cents. That would be a 6,285% increase. Okay, now you might be starting to say these percentages are getting too ridiculous. This seems unreasonable, right? Well, <laughs> it gets more fun. So let's go ahead and dive on over to CoinMarketCap. If we were to look at a comparable project that has a similar similar circulating supply, we're going to go ahead and use the reference point of Ravencoin. They actually have a little bit more than 10 billion, but I think this is a good reference point. Their top 100 cryptocurrency in trading volume alone, they had $34.5 million worth of trading volume in the last 24 hours. Think about that. And all of these reflectionary tokens we talked about with that of Blockbuster's tech, where do you think their reflection models come in for either their self-reflections or if it's BUSD or others? It's through trading volume. So when people are buying or selling Blockbuster's tech, that's creating trading volume that does impact these other projects as well. So I hope you guys see it's a bit of a compounded element. The more activity that goes on, the bigger significance we see across the board. So that's just on trading volume alone. Now, if we talk about market cap, their market cap is $381 million. If you went from $1,135,000 to $381 million, well, now I'm going to have to start zooming out a tad bit here. You guys ready for this? Let's go ahead and keep zooming out, keep zooming out, keep zooming out. Boom. There you go. And what is that price point? That is approximately $0.10. Cents. And what does that sound familiar like? This tweet over here. So when Chain said, as it stands right now, if Blockbuster's tech squeezes to 10 cents, it will create 46 millionaires. If it squeezes to 20 cents, it'll be 103 millionaires. That's based just on what it is right now, and the project hasn't even gone live yet. So there are people that are going to be buying in when the project launches, how big their bag is, what price that they get in. Those are multiple factors to take into account here. But to show whether or not even 10 cents is possible, it is very, very much possible, strictly from looking at it from a fundamental standpoint. If we're talking about a market cap, for example. Okay, so what if this was to double, if we were to get to that 20 cents that they had mentioned over there? Going back over to Ravencoin, Ravencoin at 381 million. So if we double that, you'd be looking at what, about 7.2 billion? Okay, so if we go ahead and Oh, sorry, 720 million. That's what I meant to say. So if you go 720 million, all right, we go and scroll down based on market cap now, and we can see that there are a lot of projects that have more than 720. All right, we're going to get down a little bit closer here. So for example, number 64 has 723, almost $724 million. So you're looking at right here, approximately potentially putting it at number 60. 566 in the range based on current markets. So there's a lot of other cryptos that are much ahead of it. Is it possible that this could happen? It is, in my opinion, very, very, very possible. I think it is definitely possible. And this is blocked out a little bit, but just to show you in the background, Ravencoin and its price increase to its all-time high from its initial launch point of what it price start what its price started at, that was technically a 1000% increase. So if you just reference that back to some of the numbers that we saw before, okay, well, 423%, is that potential? Yeah, very reasonable. 647, yeah, that's very reasonable. 3065, based on a lot of the other factors, we see that that's, pot that's very much potential. What do you guys think is going to happen with this project? Are you bullish? Do you think that this is overhyped? Tell us in the comments down below what you think about this. But that's what I've got for you in this video. I myself, am very excited to see what happens with their project with the launch for many different reasons. The team that's involved, the fact that it's on the safe and swap, the examples I'm showcasing you guys here, a lot of it very, very exciting. Now, the last thing is I wanna say thank you very much to my personal supporters, to people on Patreon, as well as to the YouTube membership so double shout out, thank you to welovesafemoon.com, Murat Shaker, Victor Vegas, Safe Moon Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, thank you to my YouTube members. If you would like to show your support for me and what I do as a YouTuber for as little as $1 a month, there's a link down in the description and the join button down below. Again, I am not a financial advisor. Please go do your own research. 
I will provide a link over to their website in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button, share the video. God bless. We will see you in the next episode.